The last three JD Welsh Premier League games have resulted in just one point for the new Saints. Yet, we're still very much in, to in touch with the top. Yeah, very much so. You know, it's a disappointing period at the moment. Um, you know, you, you'll go a long way back to, to find where we've had a spell like this. Um, you know, and I certainly can't remember too many times where we've only drawn one out of uh, three games. Um, you know, we, we can't feel sorry for ourselves. We're not feeling sorry for ourselves. We have to put it right. We have to find the answers. Um, with a dressing room like we've got, you know, uh, lots of experience in there, lots of title winners, um, lots of lads who played European games, you know, big players that, you know, sooner or later are going to step up and, and make sure that we're in the right place where we need to be. They're all key games anyway, but especially so on Saturday, second v third, that's a massive game for the New Saints. That's right, you know, and, you know, it's only three points and we need to get back to winning ways, like we've said. So you go into a game away um, where our away form has not been great, you know, if you look at the results we've had. So, yeah, it's a test for us and we're willing to, to stand up and, and give it a real go. You know, we, um, whether we change a few players around, whether we change some, thing, some things for them, we'll, uh, we'll have a look at that. I mean, it's early on in the week. We'll, uh, we'll have a look at um, personnel and who deserves to start the game and who we feel can, can get us that victory. And although we talk about one point in three games in the league, sandwiched in with those results is a 5-0 on the road at Plandino in the MG, Nathaniel MG Cup. So it's not all doom and gloom. No, it's not. And, you know, we're, we're still only uh, relatively early. We're, we're in November. It's not, you know, like I keep saying, um, you know, trophies, leagues, titles, they're not won yet. They're, they're the back end of the season. Um, and you've got to put things right. You've got to be positive in everything you do. You've got to train hard. You've got to work harder. Um, lads that are, are at maybe 70, 80 percent have got to reach the 90s and um, more than capable of doing so. Since the Carnarvon Town defeat, you've had a few days to reflect. Also, a couple of days of training as well. How have you and the players dealt with the disappointment from last Friday? Um, Reflection, obviously all weekend you've got time to reflect. We played Friday evening, so you've got the weekend. Um, you know, it wasn't a, a pleasant weekend, I've got to be honest. It was one of frustration and, and uh, a lot of deliberation and, and why have we not performed, but how can we put it right? You know, because it's always, it's okay saying we've done these things not very well, but it's about how you put it right. It's about how you work for the, the rest of the week going into the game for Saturday. It's no good moping. You can't come in Monday morning moping about it. It's all positive. Um, you know, we want to get back to where we were. We want to get back to the, the domination of the ball and the, and the chances created. And it's uh, not very long ago that we were, we were getting sixes and fives and whatever. So, you know, it's a cliche. You don't become a, a bad side overnight or, or in a week or two. Um, it's a blip and we'll, we'll do our utmost to put it right. And although it is a massive game for the New Saints, as I said earlier, equally so for Barry Town United as well, they're in second place at the moment. They also have a 100% home record. So when we talk about pressure, it's not just TNS that go into this game with a lot at stake. There's also much for the opposition to consider as well. Yeah, you know, I'll say it again, with the benchmark for the league, we beat them five first game of the season. So, you know, they're going to be wary of us, no doubt about it. They haven't changed the side that much. And, you know, we could have had six or seven against them. Could have been that, you know, that comfortable. Um, and, and we made changes for that game as well. So, yes, we'll give them respect. I went to see them Saturday against uh, Konski. Excellent game, end-to-end. -end, were a game where they were very, probably unlucky at the end, um, not to get a win. I mean, both sides did well um, in the game, but there was, there was certainly some, some real clear-cut chances that they probably should have taken. In the last three games, we uh, conceded just three. One was a penalty. On the other hand, we haven't been scoring as freely as we have done earlier in the season. The one goal in three, that itself was a penalty. Is this an area of concern for you personally? I think it's just going back to reminders and, and what you do at your best and show them that. You know, show them the, the creativity, show them um, you know, the attempts, where we're getting in, and where we need to be in the box. It's just literally reminders going back to it. Um, going through patterns of play and showing them, look, this is, this is why we're doing it. Um, putting a picture in their mind of when they're in that position, where to pick the ball out, who needs to be in the box. 
um, delivery, where do we put the ball? You know, I think we need to be taking our chances from outside the box. I think we need to be shooting more and, and doing much more on that and being testing their keeper because anything can happen. If you're not testing the keeper, um, you're not going to score. It's as simple as that. It's it's basic, um, basic, you know, decisions and basic thought that we need to be doing. So you know, we've worked on a bit, and, and by Saturday we'll have we'll have a plan in our mind that um, every player and every squad member, if he's going to come on the pitch, will know what he's got to do. And we do like to bring statistics up in the press conference, and we're still the leading league goal scorers with 36, and our defence is still the tightest with just 10 conceded. Yes, and if that is the, the same at the end of the season, I'm sure we'll be where we want to be. Um, that's simple mathematics too. So we've got to keep that up. We've got to keep um, in, in, in a good state of mind as well. We've got to get the players believing that you know, it wasn't so long ago we were doing this. Um, we're, we're there to be shot at. Everyone wants us to be beaten and everyone wants to see um, somebody else take that title away from us. You know, but we're strong. Uh, we're resolute, we're, we're, we're winners, we're the champions and we're that for a reason. You don't get seven titles in a row, you don't win titles year after year without knowing how to do it. And when you do get little bumps in the road, how to change it and how to get back to where you need to be. And finally Scott, the availability situation regarding the squad. Yeah, a um, couple of players still missing um, early on in the week, but you know we're looking to get um, the majority back ready for selection. We've got uh, we've got Blaine that, that's missed, um, you know, the last game or whatever, and he's got a little niggle with his with his ankle, but hopefully going to have him available and ready for selection, and uh, hopefully Danny Redmond will be also available for the squad as well.